Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new festive vlog. I cannot believe we are in mid-December. So as you can see, I'm starting the vlog this evening super cozy. I've got my Victoria's Secret um, checked red dressing gown on. I feel like this is the epitome of Christmas, even though I do wear it year round. Um, I am feeling super cozy right now. It's got really dark. I have had quite a long day today. I've had a... Um, I've had to commute all the way to the other side of Bristol and I've taken, if you've watched my last vlogs, I think it was the last one, yeah, a lot of you guys were asking in the comments about that exam that I did and I just did the retake today and I passed with a distinction of that one little section. So very, very happy, fully signed off for the rest of the year and I'll pick up again in the new year. So after a long day of working, commuting and all of that and obviously that very good news about passing, it's now time to relax. It's Thursday, but tomorrow is Friday and it's a holiday day for me. And I'm going in town with my friend, Charlie. We're gonna be having a look around the shops. We definitely, definitely, definitely wanna to go to Primark because I need to do a return and I've gotta buy some bits and bobs. And then there's a new store that's opened up in Cabot as well, which Charlie's told me about, a new jewelry store. So I'm hoping to get some footage for you guys tomorrow so you can come shopping with us. We're also, got, we've also got a little bit of a lunch date going on as well. We're gonna be going to Losteria, which is one of our, one of my favorites anyway um in town as well just generally want to go around the around the stores it's christmas time even though i'm very proud because i'm ahead of my shopping but before that i need to crack some dinner on so i am so excited to say that this video again is sponsored by hello fresh who are sorting out my festive dinner evenings especially around christmas this is a time that you cannot we waste in time, run into the shops all the time because they're super busy. You can't be wasting loads of money on loads of different ingredients and buying in bulk of lots of different stuff when you might just need a tiny section of it. And of course, it's a busy time of year. You need to plan ahead. You need to know what you're having for tea. So HelloFresh, I've made that super easy. I'm sure you guys have heard about them before. So HelloFresh allows you to discover the true value of convenience as well as the best produce delivered straight to your door. It has everything to take the stress out of cooking and also if you're somebody who's not necessarily a super adventurous cook or really struggles with ideas of what to cook you basically log on and you have a whole menu in front of you that you get to choose every single week they can do deliveries every night of the week so you can have dinner literally sorted every single night so seven days a week or you can obviously order just as many nights as you like so i'm taking back my festive evening tonight after a hectic day with this. I opted for this week going for the pulled chipotle chicken and chorizo quesadilla with sweet potato chips, avocado and tomato salsa and sour cream. I cannot tell you how much I fancy this. I'm sure you've seen the recipe cards before but if you haven't it's got a lovely illustration of what your dinner should look like, all the ingredients, your number which will correlate with your bag of bits and then on the back you have got your quantities because you can order this for two, three or four people and of course your step-by-step -step method here with the photographs so it's very very easy to follow sorry that was that was jerry coughing <laughs> so i'm about to make this and i will be showing you guys what it looks like after of course but you guys hello fresh throughout december have got the best offer i have ever seen to date ever seen if you're a new customer you need to take advantage of this so they're actually offering new customers 60 percent not 50 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes. That is you sorted for literally nine weeks. So whether you're thinking about joining right now or if you just want your new year clear and sorted, that's literally two months two months sorted of meals that you get at 25% off, as well as that incredible 60% off your first box. Genuinely a fantastic offer. I have just had an email that this has been updated because it was meant to be 50, but no, it's 60 now. So I actually can't wait any longer. It's quarter past seven and I'm so hungry. I'm gonna make this and I can't wait to show you guys. Hopefully it looks a little something like that. And just 40 minutes later, our dinner is served. I have a feeling this is gonna be the best HelloFresh we have had to date. So we've got the tomato and lo tomato lime and avocado salsa, sweet potato chips, and the most dreamy pulled chicken and chorizo, chipotle pulled chicken and chorizo quesadillas topped off with some sour cream. 
and this just looks insane. So as I said, don't forget to take advantage of that offer. This is only in December, apparently, that they're doing this. 60% off your first box, along with 25% off your next eight. You are sorted for two months straight. Check out the different recipes. They're different every single week, but they've always got great variety from rapid recipes to the premium recipes. So it can suit your needs, as well as if you're a corporate couple or you're a family at home. So I will leave the link down in the description box along with the code and further information. But for now, I'm gonna tuck into this because I am hungry. Yum. Kiwi. You want some quesadilla? Why don't you have a chip? Some HelloFresh chip. You love sweet potato. He actually loves sweet potato. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day now, and I am just heading into town, as I said, with my friend Charlie. She's already there. I'm running a little bit late. Um, but yeah, we're going to pop into town, just have a look around the shops. So I'll probably do a bit of a montage. And yeah, nice little bit of a shopping morning on a very foggy Friday, but it's feeling super, super Christmassy. We're in uh, Primark now. And we're in the home section. We've already done quite well upstairs. But yeah, I spotted that. I thought that was quite nice. I don't know what you put like nuts or like the mixed nuts or something in it, maybe. That's what I mean. It's it's all good ideas. They've even got their Christmas tree up. And then we just picked up this, which I seen Charlie had, and it's only £2.50. I thought it was so cute. Also, this is a cute little pillow. Dear Santa. And this is eight pounds. It's not too bad. This is looking quite bare over here. Oh yeah, I wanted to grab this. Is it six pounds? I think. Yeah. yeah. I think that's <laughs> nice. You know. I already know. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. So get yourself a friend that comes to Primark with you and puts stuff in your basket for you. <laughs> and then carries your basket. And then yeah, that's, we're we're working on that bin. I'm nearly getting there. When it gets too heavy, I'll be like Charlie. Oh ribbon. I just I think I've already got. I think I already picked up a roll of this, but I might grab one more. It's £1.30 and you get uh, three metres. It's so cute, but I don't like the belt. Oh yeah, you won't be able to take those out, I don't think. What else did we look around this side? No. They've got like a macrame Christmas tree. That's very cute. £6, it's quite big. And then this is lovely too. Just a basic little reindeer at four pounds and the snowy christmas tree eight pounds but it's a good size i'm really liking this macrame tree you know and actually like these two next to each other cute their home signs not working today for some reason oh my goodness there's an aubergine christmas decoration questionable that is nice that's the white company dupe one at six pounds that is white company dupe a hundred percent and I kind of like the gold one too oh that is nice there is a lot to like here giant baubles what could you actually do with those the Christmas tree be too big yeah because you can put them laying down as well can't you you don't have to have them I don't know if I need it should I get it obviously <laughs> They're cute little felt decorations. That'd be cute in like a little, if you were doing a mini tree in like a nursery or something. I feel like that's very, very cute. That's cute. This back wall is very, very aesthetically pleasing. Love that. So there's that tree again. You've got mini reindeers. These are 350. They've got a new woodland scent in their um, room sprays. I actually quite like this little ceramic tree too. Oh, it's a tea light holder. It's cute. Six pounds though. I feel like that's a little bit steep. It's very small. And then we've got a mistletoe wreath. Love this cushion. And then yeah, those trees are cute. You buy them separately. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I got an electric shock then. <laughs> so the big too. one is six pounds. Oh. That one's four. And that one's four. Little jars with trees. And some very tall reindeer. Oh my goodness, this guy's on his own, but that's so cute. So that is large. cute, isn't it? There's no price on it though. Why do I feel like I need this? Go for it. Would you like it? Oh, you gotta... it. One of us has got to get it. it. So you've got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I do really want it. It's just, oh, it's... It. Oh my There's goodness. Okay. Yeah, I need this. I don't actually have space for them, Charlie. 
Okay. It's a tenner. Okay, I'm getting these. They're gonna look so nice just placed <laughs> next to each other. <laughs> yes. Matching. Oh. <laughs> I made Charlie get that tree as well. That's gonna be, you could put, even put that next to it. That would be really cute. Oh, there's more down there. We're doing eucalyptus wreath very well. And we're done. I thought I bought a lot. And then Charlie came with me. Judge me. Look at this. Oh, we're about to go in the mirror here. I thought I bought a lot, but Charlie got two of these big bags. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, time to put these back in the car and continue shopping. So we've dropped the bags off and now we've come to Losteria. Look at this carbonara. Amazing! Lunch is done and now we're heading over to Astrid and Mew because Charlie said that this is a shop to go to. I know they've got one in Harrods. So let's see what they've got. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> is that an advent calendar? Charlie they've got an advent <laughs> calendar. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put music over because they've got um, music in here. very easily and she's just booked in to get three piercings so she's just choosing her three studs here they got solid gold ones and titanium ones that one's cute i would try and show the camera but genuinely it's probably not oh hang on oh yeah you can see it there lush we just popped in all saints and i absolutely love this top 45 but it's just a plain embossed top so nice Time to go. So, so All done. Really out of care information. So nice. Twice a day for 12 weeks for both of them. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day now, despite the fact I'm wearing the same hoodie. I've also just had a little nap, so do excuse me. I look very, very much like I've just rolled out of bed, but um, I've had a nap. It's Saturday. I didn't get a great sleep last night, so... Yeah, I actually had a nap because I have been prepping dinner. We're having our dinner party tonight, which is why I've picked up the camera because I've been going a million miles an hour this morning and then had my nap. But now I'm recharged and I'm very cold. I'm gonna go have a shower in a minute, but I just wanted to show you what I've been doing. I wanna do some tablescaping with you guys because I wanna lay my table in a minute. And also, first of all, I wanna show you a few goodies that I picked up yesterday. Now, I have got a massive Primark bag on my table over there. I am doing a dedicated Primark haul though, so I'm not gonna be showing you what I got from Primark, but I did get some bits from Poundland. Uh, did I get anything else? I think I've got some other bits that I want to show you. So I've just popped you up on the side because me and Charlie did go to Primark yesterday, as you've seen. I hope you enjoyed those little shots, but we ended up getting a lot. She actually got two bags like this, so you thought I was bad, but um, we are honestly terrible when we go with each other. We like pick something up and she's like, yep, you have that. Yep, I'm having one of those. So we've got such similar style as well, so it doesn't help because she'll see something she likes and she'll kind of convince me to buy it and vice versa. So. Anyway, doing a dedicated Primark haul, but the only thing I will show you that I picked up is the, um, I don't know if I showed you this in this video, but I did do a reel and a TikTok about the gifts that are in Primark, and they do these, like, kits, so they've got a focaccia kit, they've got a pasta kit, they've got, um, the dumpling kit, and there was one more, oh, a fortune cookie kit as well, I think, so I picked this one up, they are £10, but I just thought this was quite cute, I needed... For my dinner party tonight, everyone's got to bring a £10 gift because we're doing a game. So everyone needs to bring like a universal gift that's up to the value of £10. So I was kind of desperate, but I thought I'd go for this because this is the Taste of China one. And we love Asian food and our friends who are coming, my mum and dad love Asian food as well. So I thought that would be a great gift, but that's the only Primark thing I'm going to show you. Oh, no, I lie. I've got to show you this as well because I probably won't get around to showing you it in time. I might do. I'm not too sure, but either way. 
I picked this up for Jerry. How cute is this? So it says Merry Woofmas and it's a little bandana. It also comes with the bow tie that you can put around the collar. I just thought this is so cute. So Charlie and I and the dogs are going to the uh, a Dash and Pop Up Cafe pop-up cafe um, which is in Bath and it's for Christmas so that's next weekend so I wanted Jerry to wear just a little something Christmassy he's got Christmas jumpers but they don't have the slit in the back for his harness so he won't be able to wear them so I picked that up and that was three pounds for the two I then went in Poundland because I actually popped in Poundland the day before and picked up one of these this is I think the best Christmas thing I've seen in Poundland this whole year this is a jute sack um, and they had a couple of designs of this, but how pretty is this sack? Like, this is a pound in Poundland, which I just found incredible. Like, look at how beautiful neutral it is and designed, and it's just a pulled drawstring. So, um, on both sides I can see, sorry. So it's just really beautiful to put next to the Christmas tree. I've actually got a present for Andy that is, like, it's gonna be a nightmare to wrap. I cannot wrap it. So I'm literally just gonna put it in one of these and pop it next to the um tree which is why i picked up another one because his present is already in there actually and i thought for a pound that's really good value i thought they were, would try and up that to like two or three because it's big but yeah really really good value they also had one that had like red in it if red's your theme and then this was the other thing i was very impressed with in poundland this was three pounds but it is a beautiful, white, simple ceramic tray. Now they are doing things like this in um, Home Bargains. I think for this size tray in Home Bargains, it's around four pounds, so this is three. I did think that that was just reasonable. It's not the biggest dish in the world, but it's very, you know, it's very nice and simple. And I just thought for three pounds, it was a good deal. So I'm gonna put my mince pies on that later, I think, or maybe my camembert starters, actually, that'll go well. And then I also did just pick Jerry up another Christmas present, which is these rings. He's had these before, and I can't remember if they lasted, but they feel like they're really, really strong. I'm pretty sure they did last. This was three pounds, so it's not the cheapest, but if you have a dog that's like a massive chewer, this is like really thick quality. So I'm hoping that's gonna be good. And then I think the final thing I have to show you is I just also picked up in Poundland. I was super impressed with these. These are just a couple of gift boxes. You get two for a pound, so they're 50p a piece. I've got some jewelry I'm buying for people and I've got like a belt. I don't know if the belt will fit in this one, but I've got some jewelry and stuff and I hate wrapping jewelry that's like in like fabric pouches or anything, you know what I mean? You can't really wrap it. So just put a little bit of like um, tissue paper or something in these and you have some lovely little boxes. So I thought for 50p a piece and the design on those, that is amazing. So that is just everything I picked up in Poundland when we went out yesterday. As I said, we literally went round, obviously Charlie got her ears pierced in um, that jewelry shop as well. I was half tempted to, but I don't know, the shop was gorgeous, it was really, really nice, but personally, I don't know, I just wasn't vibing massively with it. I love my Ana Luisa jewellery, like, it reminded me, a few pieces in there reminded me of something that you'd see on Ana Luisa, and actually these, like, the little tiny stud set that I've got of three, almost looked identical to what you can get on Ana Luisa, and this isn't sponsored, I know I work with them, um, but this isn't sponsored, I do genuinely love their jewellery, in fact, am I even, no, I'm wearing Tiffany's today, but... I wear their Ana Luisa studs and you can get like a pack of three for $20 and they I wear them through the shower they don't tarnish and everything so I felt that shop that what was it called Alec something a new I can't remember now I do know the shop but um, I've heard of it because they're in Harrods so they're a bit like a designer piercer if you ever knew there was one it was nice to see it and there was some stunning bits of jewelry and I was really inspired to get the piercing like Charlie in that middle like the top middle bit I think that's really cool um but yeah, I was just like, do you know what? Not today. Like, I, I don't need another thing to worry about. I haven't been sleeping the best, so I don't want another reason to, like, not get a great night's sleep. Obviously, laying on your ear and stuff, and it's painful. So, anyway, that was our shopping trip. I hope you enjoyed coming in those few little clips. I tried to grab a few. It was supposed to be a girl's day. It was supposed to be chill, and it was. I managed to do a bit of everything. Bless Charlie. She also got me a incredibly generous present this is just she said she was gonna wrap it up for christmas but then she was like you don't get to enjoy it so charlie charlie is just the most wonderful friend she is such a caring and kind person and we met actually back when we were working in um working in town together and 
we just stuck. Like there's some people that go in and out of your life, but I just completely stuck with her. And yeah, so she picked up this for me in anthropology. I actually eyed this up when they first came out and I hadn't been down to Bath because I think if I went down to Bath and I went into anthropology, I would definitely grab one of these. But she was so kind and she picked me up the anthropology a mug the initial mugs they come out with i think they come out with these every year but i have never seen one this beautiful and the a has got a stocking i think that different ones have got like a little house and or a present or something but this cup is just beyond stunning so i'm about to make a cup of tea and christen this mug for the first time and yeah i'm gonna go upstairs and have a very nice warm shower and then I'm gonna crack on with making my lasagna. This morning when I woke up, because I couldn't sleep, I came down and I just made the lasagna sauce, which is looking amazing. This is my Nan's recipe. Oh, I don't even follow a recipe. I just go off what my Nan told me to do. If you don't know, I'm quarter Italian, so little bit of pressure to make good lasagna. <laughs> and I also made last night, which is in the fridge here, these tiramisu, which just look amazing. I really hope they taste as good as they look. But yeah, we've got um, prawn ring and we've got little breaded brie or camembert, I can't remember what they are, with cranberry dip to start. We then have lasagna, Caesar salad, and I'm probably going to do some chips. And then we have the tiramisu and then we have a cheese board. So we've got a long, long night of eating. So that's why for lunch we just had nibbly things. But yeah, that is the update with everything and how it's go gone. And I am so excited for this evening. I'm going to leave my camera on the side. See if I get any footage. I don't, I'm not 100% because again, I'm going to be hosting and I'm just going to be, it's like my first dinner party I've probably ever hosted for friends anyway, friends and family. So yeah, it'll be really nice. But first of all, I'm going to go have a shower because I'm feeling very cold. It's definitely, definitely cooling down in the UK massively now. Okay, so I am doing the table. So I just wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up for the table and what I'm doing. So the first thing is these crackers. I just thought, you know, it's a dinner party around Christmas. I thought I'd add to it. I'm also really sorry if you can hear Jerry with his chew. I know it's extremely frustrating, but if I take it away from him, he'll just bark. I picked up these, which are 10 luxury handcrafted crackers, and that's just the bits you get in there. So I'm gonna put those on the table, so I think they'll look nice. I then have these um, napkin ring holders, which I'll come up and show you. Any of you that were with me last year would have seen that I picked these up in Primark. They didn't do them this year. These were the most incredible napkin rings i think it was six pound for two and i've got six and obviously the six of us here actually here we go yeah oh it was oh my goodness it was three pound fifty for two wow that's a really good deal um as you can see they are just the most beautiful they're so detailed um so i picked up these and i'm actually getting to use all of them this year i've then on the back of the chairs as you can see we've got some linen napkins i just um ironed these that's why they're over the back of the chairs ready to put out i'm probably going to keep this hurricane jar on the like candle on the table because I like how simple it is and it's just a stag it's like a set of stag um antlers which I just think is really nice and the candle inside's from Ikea I then have these placemats which I won't get to show you guys in my Primark haul because obviously I'm using them today but I picked these up in Primark how nice are these they were a pound were well, a pound or two pounds a piece I think I think they're a pound a piece and they are lovely snowflakes. Poundland also do basically the same thing as these, but Christmas trees if you prefer, but I just think that these are gonna look really pretty. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought about getting charger plates, but you're not even really gonna see these, so I am just going to, they're just a means to an end, but they add to it. I like the edges, I like the detailing, and obviously they actually also protect my glass table. And then the final thing, which you will see in an upcoming Matalan haul, is I managed to get my hands on these. Now, last time I checked, they were sold out, but these are a set of six place card holders and they were seven pounds. But how incredible are these? So I bought these because they were giving me white company vibes. The white company did um, bauble holders, but they weren't even as nice as this. These are also quite big as well. So I picked those up and I've just made the little cards. So there's like my mum's name. So we can just pop that in the top and I just think that's really cute. It's just a nice little additional extra. And so far that is everything I've got for the table. I'm gonna get rid of this runner because we've got people sitting at the ends of the table and I'm gonna start tablescaping, which I'm gonna do in a speed clip. It's white outside.
inside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer And here is the table! It looks so beautiful, so here is the setting is how I done it. Jerry has just stolen one of his Christmas presents out the cupboard and gone upstairs. But um, this is what the table looks like. I'm in a mad rush now because I am still in my pajamas, no makeup on, nothing, and mum and dad are already on their way. So I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. The lasagna's not even done yet. Starters done, lasagna made, presents here, wine flowing, everyone here, yay! And it is now the next day. So I hope you guys did enjoy this festive vlog. I really had a great time last night at the party. It went really well. The food was brilliant. The drinks were flowing. Everyone had a really, really good time. And honestly, that's like the epitome of Christmas. So yes, I can't believe it. I think by the time you're watching this video, it's like 13 days to go. 13 days till Christmas. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh. As I said, this offer in the vlog that I've given you today, the December offer, is purely a December offer. 60% off is absolutely incredible. I'm flashing it up on the screen here for you again. If you've ever thought about giving HelloFresh a try, now is definitely the time. But apart from that, guys, I'm gonna leave you to it. I have a Primark haul coming for you on Friday, and it is a brilliant Christmas Primark haul with including some good fashion as well. So it's not purely just Christmas, but there is some really good little Christmas bits in there too. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of these uploads that I have coming. We've been doing triple uploads in December, and it's been so lovely to spend so much time with you guys. So without further ado, I will see you on Friday. Merry Christmas. Christmas guys. Ciao. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time.